Hey guys, welcome to Dare to Defy Stage 5. Considering this is Dare to Defy, I went with a sort of semi-budget team. The only character here that's truly better is Tifa of course. And I pair her with General Leo and Selfie. This run took me about 17 minutes in real time to complete, but it should be fairly safe and consistent because this is also going to be a no enemy turn run because all three characters can delay and predominantly this fight is a single target fight the long sword minion dies extremely quickly anyway and because the boss never gets a turn the minion will never get revived for the entire fight the biggest challenge here really is the fact that the boss gets the delay aura when it hits 30% force gauge which causes you to self-delay one turn anytime you take an action. This isn't too bad actually because you can still out-delay the boss with General Leo in the party. The challenge really is more on the second force time because if you keep self-delaying yourself, Tifa wouldn't be able to get consecutive turns in her force time and so you will waste precious force time turns to characters like Selfie. It is possible to go into the second force time before the boss hits 30% force gauge but it is extremely tight and a little bit RNG reliant so rather than trying to test RNG I just did this run where the second force time is up while the self delay aura is up as well just to show you guys that it is very possible to do it even while the self delay aura is up. Anyway. Coming to the setup phase, at the start of the fight, you don't have to worry about raising the force gauge. You actually want the boss to hit 100% force time before you, so that you can reset the boss's force gauge with the fast force attack, which hits force weakness. To protect yourself from the force attack, that's where the Raijin LD call comes in. With the Raijin debuff, that attack will always do zero damage. Beyond that, at the start, you want Selfie to spam all her LD. There is no point to save any of her LD. And by spamming her LD early on in the fight, of course with one wall and one aura thrown in the mix just to land the buffs up, but with all the LD spams with Selfie at the start of the fight, essentially the boss will be delayed to Oblivion, which gives you a lot of buffer room when the self-delay aura finally comes up. Likewise, with General Leo as well, you want to also try to delay the boss on each of his turns. So at the start, you want to use one LD with General Leo on the boss just to make sure that the precision strike lands on the boss. Thereafter, you actually just want to spam Master Blade with General Leo. Master Blade is a good skill to use at the start because not only does it delay the boss by an additional two turns, but Master Blade is also high turn rate. So allowing General Leo to get more turns to delay the boss even further. So the combination of Master Blade from General Leo and Selfie's Rapture is enough to out delay the boss at the start. When the force gauge hits 100% on your side and the boss has entered force time, you want to start preparing for Tifa's force time. To do that, what you want to do is firstly have Tifa use BT plus on her turn. Here I use the Luna Freya LD call just to help with the setup but on hindsight I think this is a poor choice, choice of a call because Tifa gets self delayed after the call and this means that the quick prayer will actually wear off pretty quickly. But the good thing about the Luna Freya LD call is to ensure that Tifa can very easily enter BT mode with 8 turns of force time remaining. 
If you don't use Luna Fire LD Call, you can maybe use something like a Twitch LD Call, but you would have a much harder time to time Tifa's BT mode, and it is very likely that you will enter BT mode with 7 turns of force time remaining, which isn't as ideal. So now that I'm in force time, the goal is to enter BT mode, like I said, with 8 turns of force time remaining. The good thing about hitting force fitness, as you can see, is the boss will automatically heal you to full HP on top of resetting its force gauge, so the HP poison earlier doesn't really matter as well. So General Leo took one turn here, and there's 9 turns of uh, force time remaining, so here I go into Battle Cry, which is instant turn, and therefore allows me to start with 8 turns of force remaining. The rotation here is full throttle attack, followed by 2 beat rush plus, followed by EX, LD and force attack. This should bring the boss below 50% health and let you exit PT mode with 1 turn of force time remaining. Immediately pop summon after BT mode, this locks the boss's force gauge at 0% while you build up your second force time. I decided to just use Tifa's last LD here just for the damage. When Selfie gets a turn, start charging your force gauge again. Don't worry about the rest of the summon mode. The goal is that you want Selfie to charge up so that Tifa can enter force time with many turns of a PT aura remaining. Ideally here you want to hit 100% before the boss hits 30%. And like I said at the start of the video, it is extremely tight. I think it is very possible to do it. And for a while I thought that I would make it, but because the boss is below 49% health, the force gauge charging rate it has is extremely quick. And very unfortunately, the boss hit 30% exactly as I start the fast force time. It's a big difference, so if the boss is something like 29.9%, then the self-delay aura wouldn't be up. And it would be a much easier time, you can you know, just have Tifa spam 
Battlecry consecutively and that should deal the most damage out of your party and very easily you should be able to kill off the boss in the second force turn. Unfortunately, since the self-delay aura is up, the adjustment here that I would recommend to do is still do instant turn attacks with Tifa, so just spam her battle cry or her full throttle attack. You might also want to check her beat rush plus because sometimes the beat rush plus with the high turn rate gives her another instant turn. Other than that, with General Leo, you want to spam Master Blade here because of the high turn rate. And with Selfie, during her turn, the best attack to use is Brave Attack if the boss is broken. Because Selfie's Brave Attack would land a critical strike and would uptick Tifa's Force Conditional. If the boss did Regen Brave, then just have Selfie use Drain because you wouldn't be able to land a critical strike with you know, the boss not being in broken status. The last two attacks with Tifa and General Leo, you want to use their hardest hitting attacks. So this is something like EX or LD. Now if the boss survive, like right here, it's not the end of the world, you still have some room to finish off the boss, but you do need to kill off the boss before it hits a second force time, because once the boss hits force time, then the HP poison will come into play and you will no longer to meet the HP requirements. Anyway, that's it for this run. As always, I hope the video has been helpful and if you enjoyed the content, do leave a like, comment or subscribe. It really helps a lot. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next Dare to Defy stage. Bye!